we are joined now by Republican Congressman John Katko of New York, the top Republican on the House Homeland Security Committee. Thanks so much for joining us again, Congressman. Happy to be here. So Secretary of State Antony Blinken today, he said of China, quote, that it's irresponsible, disruptive and destabilizing behavior in cyberspace, which poses a major threat to our economic and national security. We're so often focused on the cyber threat coming from Russia and Eastern Europe. What was your reaction to the information revealed publicly today on the threat coming from China? Well, it wasn't a surprise. We've known for a long time on Homeland Security that China is one of the worst offenders when it comes to cyber attacks and they're, they're a direct threat to the various economic stability and the, the security of our country. So Blinken's words were strong and they were, they, were, they were needed, but we have to follow up in this country with action. If we don't follow up with action, we're a paper tiger and China's gonna walk all over us like they have been doing. And uh, bad guys only understand strength. If we don't respond with sanctions and strong punitive actions instead of just words, China's gonna continue to run roughshod over us on the cyberspace, which would be catastrophic. Bad guys don't understand strength. Really interesting point there. Officials pointed to more direct state-sponsored backing of these hacking operations from China than we often see coming from actors in Russia. How do you see these threats from, from both countries differing in both their intent and, and how they're carried out? Well, you see in Russia, a lot of times, it's not so much the state itself doing the attack, but basically state-sanctioned state cyber, cyber groups that are within Russia operating with impunity and they're just as bad as if the state was doing them themselves, in my opinion. In China, much of it's a state-sponsored and state state acts are actually doing it. And we know that would look, appears to be the case with respect to Microsoft. So we sent strong signals to Russia. Why are not we? Or why are we not cracking down on China? Why are we not looking at them saying, you know, you want to be looking at it, looked at as a world leader? You're having the Olympics there. Yeah, you're engaged in these catastrophic cyber attacks, and you're also engaged in, in, in genocide of your own people, the Uyghurs. The northwestern province, one to three million people, I mean, you know, it's acknowledged that they're engaged in genocide. Why are we uh, tiptoeing around the bad actions, the terribly bad actions of China? It do doesn't make sense to me. And beyond the indictments of these four Chinese nationals, the U.S. and our allies who joined in the statement did not announce any actions such as sanctions on China. What do you think that the White House and Congress needs to do in order to address this threat? They need to put teeth into things. They need to sit there and per perhaps put everything on the table, up to and including the Olympics. The Olympics, not just for the cyber attacks, but for the genocide they're committing. We can't we can't be doing business with irresponsible people on a world stage like China if they're going to continue to act like this. And we and we certainly can't turn a blind eye to what they're doing. We need to curb their conduct. We need to counter their conduct. And we need to compete against them and make sure that they're not they don't continue to act like they have been acting. And lastly, next week, the Select Committee on the January 6th attack is set to begin hearings. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy expected to officially appoint Republicans to that committee soon. You are a proponent of an independent commission. But are you concerned that politics could overtake any substantive investigation from this Select Committee? That's What's happening now is exactly what I was hoping would not happen. I was hoping by passing the bipartisan commission bill that I worked out with my counterpart in Homeland Security, we wouldn't have politicians doing the investigation. We would have people, seasoned professionals, like we did during the 9-11 Commission. And what's happening now is exactly what I don't want to have happen, because the Democrats have a lopsided ability to subpoena people. There's no end in sight. There's no, no end date. They can string this out until next year during the election season, try to raise this issue again and again. And it's going to end up being politicized. And it's very unfortunate. It didn't have to happen that way. But why hasn't the uh, leader McCarthy been selected a Republican to add? Well, I saw some reports today that appears to be some that may be added. We don't know for sure. And uh, I haven't talked to them about that issue. Okay. Republican Congressman John Katko of New York, we thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Take care. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.